Hey, Craig here. So in this video, we're going to be making a blanking punch die set. So when I refer to blanking, I mean that the actual slug of the punch is actually going to be the part. When you're piercing, you're actually making a hole in the part, the, the final part. Whereas in blanking, the actual part that is punched out or is the slug that comes out is actually your part. So this part here is actually both pierced and um, blanked. So now the most common form of this is actually a washer. Similar to this, the hole in the middle of this is the hole in the middle of this. That is actually uh, a pierce, where it's pierced. But the, uh, the actual washer itself becomes the blank when it's punched out of the material. So for this project, I'm going to be using two pieces of cold rolled steel. Uh, one's already on the, the mill. Um, this is a three-quarter inch thick, uh, four by six. It's actually uh, well, maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch over uh, to square off the ends, which is what I'm doing on the mill now. Um, this was like 17, 18 bucks each. Um, also got a pack of uh, three-eighths uh, dowel pins from McMaster Car. Um, I don't remember how much those were. I only had quarter inch, so I got three-eighths inch. Uh, I'm using 3 8 inch because it's it's just easier to bore the hole with a quarter inch end mill than trying to use a 3 16 and a quarter inch dowel uh, hole, so, alright. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is the actual oval shape, which is the actual cutting portion of the die, the lower part of it. Um, we're going to be using my favorite uh, roughing tool uh, for the Tormach 770 here, which is this Lakeshore Carbide Quarter Inch Four Flute Roughing End Mill, the uh, fire plug. This is an awesome, awesome rougher for steel. Okay, well that went really smooth. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, the finish pass on there for the, uh, the actual cutting edge. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and bore the two holes for the alignment pins, these 3 uh pins to align the, the top and bottom, the uh, punch and the die.
Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this out and flip it over. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, set my zeros on this and uh, get ready to do the uh, cavity underneath. That's where the, uh, the, the, uh, the part or the blank will uh, fall through. Okay, so now to do the bottom cavity here. Uh, I'm going to do the first part of the roughing with my favorite roughing tool, the uh, quarter inch uh, fire plug from Lakeshore. Um, that'll do, that's really only good for about maybe a quarter of an inch uh, depth. So I'm going to start with that, then I'm going to switch out to a, uh, all I've got is a uh, 3 8 uh, regular end mill. I don't have any 3 8 roughers. I should get one of those, but... Um, okay, we'll, uh, we'll start this. Okay, well I wasn't able to film all of it because the uh, battery on my uh, phone died. I think I'm going to be switching to the uh, Note 10 Plus today, but I'm trying to get through this uh, bottom part. Then I'll get the uh, new phone and I'll move on to the, uh, the, uh, the punch, the top part. Uh, one thing I forgot to do though, this is supposed to be open, sounds like a tin can. <laughs> um, I was supposed to put uh, minus 15 thousandths on the uh, bottom height for this to make sure I cut all the way through. This is probably just a few thousandths thick, so... Okay, well this is kind of like opening up a can of soup here. When I first went through, it, it didn't look like it did anything, but uh, the, the vice is right there. So I actually have to peel it up from this way. <laughs> I, uh, oops. I tried to adapt it like this, but it was just pushing this down. This is just like thousands thick so <laughs> okay cool so I, I suppose I should have done a finishing pass under here just just for looks I mean it doesn't really matter for uh, for the function you know um, it's only gonna do a it's only a test punch die actually there's a bit of a burr there still huh huh well I'll just have to clean that up by hand as far as the centering, looks pretty accurate. Looks the same all around. So, just that burr. Okay, cool. 
All right, well, that's probably the hardest part of this done. Got the pins in there. All right, well, the next part is to do the, uh, the punch, the top part. All right. All right, well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a button over here. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a link up here. Uh, also, some other videos you might like to watch over here. And as always, thanks for watching.